Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Arielle Teppert alongside Lily Haverly. Coming up in today's show, NAHS is meeting today, the Wild Mugs and More program is highlighted, and Alexis Knoll has your three-day forecast. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. There will be a National Art Honor Society meeting today at 1050 in room F201. The induction ceremony for new members will be discussed. Please stop by the front entryway to the school to claim any lost and found items. All unclaimed items will be donated prior to the holiday break. The next Career Pathways program is excited to announce that this month's Lunch and Learn guest speaker will be professional motivational speaker and announcer for the Pittsburgh Pirates, Joe Klimchok. Joe will be here on Tuesday, December 20th during Lunch and Learn in the auditorium. His presentation will begin at 11.15 a.m. for grades 10 through 12 and 12.15 p.m. for grade 9. Joe impacts and inspires students by sharing his personal story of how an ordinary kid with a speech impairment landed his dream job as an announcer in a major league baseball ballpark. All students are encouraged to attend. Now let's get a check on the weather. We go to Alexis Knoll for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today will be cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 40. On Friday, there will be a 40% chance of rain with a high of 44 and a low of 37. On Saturday, it will be cloudy again with a high of 45 and a low of 36. That's your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Alexis. This week is Computer Science Education Week. We want to encourage everyone to participate in Hour of Code by completing any computer science coding activity available at hourofcode.com. Look for activities in areas you are interested in, like music, art, gaming, science, and more. When you complete any activity, print out the certificate and bring it to Mrs. Lint in S104 to be entered to win one of three drawings for a $15 gift certificate to a local business. Certificates will be accepted up to and including Monday, December 12th. The winners will be drawn at the end of the school day, Monday, December 12th. Learn to code, be creative. Creativity plus coding equals magic. What can you create? Creativity is the energy that fuels imagination. Creativity is the ability to see something, to imagine something that doesn't exist anywhere in the world, and then through force of will to create it and make it real. Well, creativity is taking something that only exists in your brain and in your heart and making it tangible so that it can enter someone else's brain and someone else's heart. Creativity is connecting new dots building on what's been done before, and blending in your own ideas on how things might be done differently or better. Creativity is taking your kaleidoscope of life experiences and thoughts and skills, turning it around a few times, and producing something new and wonderful. Creativity plus coding equals magic. The kind of magic that can change the world. So what will you create? We now go to Jacob Kramer for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, the varsity swim team has a meet at Derry at 6 p.m. Next, the boys' varsity hockey team has a game at Kirk S. Nevin Arena at 7.15 against Meadville. In national sports news, the Las Vegas Raiders and Los Angeles Rams play in L.A. at 8.15. In the NBA, there are three games. Headlining the night is Miami Heat and LA Clippers at 7.30 in LA. Finally, in the NHL, there are five games with the LA Kings and Toronto Maple Leafs playing in Toronto at 7. That's all for sports news. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Jacob. Are you looking for that perfect holiday gift? Students in the Life Skills program have created a new business called Wild Mugs and More. Teacher Mrs. Beckus shares more about how the program started. And I started the Wild Mugs and More project back in 2019. It was through a grant that we received through Real World Scholars. And basically it's a program to teach uh, entrepreneurship skills to my life skills class. So for them it's how to run their own business and it was really up to my students to pick a product that, that they thought that the students and staff and their community members would buy and incorporate, again, students, staff, and community members on the development of this product. Right now, students are selling 11-ounce mugs that can be personalized with a picture. The mugs are created through a heat press that we use through the process of sublimation, so it incorporates you know, our, our science class, and 
Our kids are uh, creating personalized mugs, so you can go online and order and uh, sh share a picture that you would like to be put on the drinkware or a mug, or you can choose from mugs that we've already created through different graphics that we're going to offer online. Throughout this experience, students are able to gain a variety of skills. With the high school's vision of career pathways, this is just a, another a way for my students to learn a job skill and, and see if they're interested in this pathway. Not only are they going to be learning about um, the process and steps that it takes to create a product, but also uh, the shipping and the advertising. And really, it's my hope that it's a stepping stone for my kids to possibly take the, the Cats Customs class one day. Be sure to check out the Wild Mugs and More website at egcorps.org slash shop slash wild mugs dash n dash more. Personalized mugs are $10. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Emma Yurick with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latro? Today is Thursday, December 8th, and cooking up in the main line, we have mandarin orange chicken with fried rice and broccoli. In the sandwich line, we have a hamburger, cheeseburger, or chicken patty. In the pizza line, we have homemade cheese or pepperoni pizza. Finally, in the grab-and-go bar, we have fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Emma. Now here is Zoe Favada with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. Today in World News, tens of thousands of people braced Monday for days without electricity in North Carolina County, where authorities say that two power substations were shot up by one or more people with an apparent, apparent criminal intent. Nearly 36,000 customers had no power in the county Tuesday, down from a peak of about 45,000. Governor Roy Cooper said that power should be restored by Thursday morning to thousands of homes in the area. Next. European Union lawmakers and governments reached a deal Tuesday that would ban import of products which contribute to deforestation around the world. The preliminary agreement, which ne still needs to be formally adopted, requires companies to verify that the goods they sell in the European Union have not led yet to deforestation and forest degradation anywhere in the world as of 2021. More than 100 countries pledged last year to stop and reverse global deforestation by 2030 as a part of efforts to combat climate change. Lastly, in local news, Governor-elected Josh Shapiro is tapping longtime aides to take top position in office weeks before he is sworn in as Pennsylvania's 48th governor, as he prepares to leave the Attorney General's office for a sprawling administration that runs the nation's fifth most populated state. Shapiro, who is finishing his sixth year as State Attorney General, will be sworn in January 17th. That's all for World News. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCA TGV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!